Hello, welcome to this video on MRS fitting. What's the goal of MRS fitting? Well, the goal is to uh, take this lovely uh, spectrum and turn these peaks into concentrations, ideally with uh, physical units. How do we do that? Well, remember a long time ago in this course now, when we um, looked at the GLM for modeling task fMRI, we modeled our data using a design matrix, which has some known regressors linked to our experiment. And then we tried to fit for uh, these betas or regression parameters. Sometimes we included uh, regressors, for example, motion parameters estimated from the um, 3D data. This was a linear model with a simple analytic solution. When MRS, the situation is very similar. We have a complex spectrum on the left-hand side, and we try to model that using a linear combination of spectra, each representing a separate metabolite. And our regression coefficients are the concentrations for each metabolite. We also have confounds that we need to model uh, in these um, data. For example, uh, confounds related to the line shape in terms of uh, frequency shifts or line width. And we also want to model phase uh, in general zero, or zero and first order phase. An additional confound can be added in the case where we have residual water uh, even after water suppression, uh, and that can take the form of a baseline, generally modeled using a slightly low order polynomial, or sometimes splines. One must be careful not to overfit the data by making the uh, baseline model too complex. So you can see here, if we let the uh, baseline be too complex, then we start capturing features in the spectrum that our metabolite spectra are supposed to capture. And this will affect the concentrations that are estimated. Putting it all together, the model has this mathematical form. We've got our complex spectrum on the left-hand side, get our concentrations here. Uh, we uh, have our design matrix, which is a basis spectra here, the function of time. Our uh, confound parameters related to a uh, line shape and uh, our phase parameters here and our baseline model. Uh, this is a nonlinear model requiring um, uh, optimization, so no analytic closed forms, and so it is um, typically harder and slower than uh, the simple GLM. In FSLMRS, once the fitting is done, uh, it produces a report in the form of a interactive HTML. As you can see, you can uh, toggle on and off different parts of the data. You can zoom out and zoom in uh, into bits of the spectrum that are of interest to check that the fitting has uh, done has been done correctly. You've got a table summarizing the concentrations and the uncertainties, information on the voxel location, on the nuisance parameters or confound parameters, some QC. You can also examine uncertainties on, these, on the concentrations and correlations between different metabolite concentrations, more information on the fitting in the real imaginary parts of the spectrum, and also a visualization of the individually fitted metabolites. And there's some more information when uh, doing uh, quantification uh, and uh, uh, more on this a little bit later. When uh, using MRS imaging, a useful way to look at the data and the output of the fitting is by using Fossilize which has an MRS plugin. In there, you can uh, navigate through voxels, checking uh, both the fitting and the um, uh, concentration parameters, the uncertainties, all the estimated parameters 
are uh, stored as maps that can be uh, visualized and can navigate through in fossilized. Now, how do we get this um, design matrix of uh, basis spectra? This is typically due, uh, done using uh, simulations, uh, which can be done in FSLMRS. So this simulation called density matrix simulation framework takes as an input a description of the spin system or uh, basically the chemical structure of metabolites, uh, a lot of which are stored uh, inside the FSLMRS and a precise description of the sequence in terms of gradients and RF pulses. And this produces a series of spectra, as you can see here in the bottom, for the uh, chosen metabolites. This table shows the uh, old metabolites for which the chemical structure uh, is stored uh, in the uh, software. Here are two examples of the results of these simulations for a 7T semi-laser sequence and a 3T press sequence. And so you can appreciate the similarities but also striking differences between the two. Although most of these basis spectra look like uh, isolated peaks or, or doublets or triplets, one of them stands out uh, as consistent of very broad peaks throughout and this is the macromolecules spectrum and this one is uh, generally not uh, simulated using the density matrix simulator but rather either measured with a sequence that's very similar to the one used for the metabolites or simulated using a uh, a simple combination of of relatively broad peaks uh, at predefined relative frequencies and predefined relative amplitudes. Finally, the quantitation, uh, which is the bit where we get calibrated measurements with physical units, requires four things. First, we need the water reference data, so the unsuppressed reference data. And uh, using a reference metabolite, uh, for example, creatine or total creatine, we can uh, take the ratio of the um, surface area and the, the, those peaks uh, as a calibration measure, combined with information on uh, on water. We also need uh, to account for uh, relaxation properties of water relative to uh, uh, to uh, the metabolites, but also the fact that these relaxation parameters change depending on uh, whether you, uh, your signal comes from grey matter, white matter, or CSF. And so in addition to the water reference, we need a map or of um, tissue partial volume, which can be obtained using FAST, uh, and also information that's typically from the literature on the T1 and T2 relaxation parameters. Uh, and these are uh, provided or saved in, inside the code. So in summary, MRS fitting is very similar to the GLM, but the model is uh, non-linear. Uh, we uh, fit concentrations, but also a bunch of different confound parameters. The design matrix, uh, or these metabolite spectra, depends on the precise MR sequence description and on the chemical structure of the metabolites. It's important to visualize the results of the fitting, and quantification or quantitation, rather, requires additional information, partial volume and relaxation. And that's it for now. Thank you for listening.